Right, here's our match against X Square Stick It from YouTube. This is a standard match. We did have one before this, but I ended up disconnecting um, like a few turns in, which was quite bad. But at least we have our second match, which worked. So we just used the same teams. I like the one with Star. Um, he leads with Golade. He went for Hypnosis and missed. And it hits the second time. Fine up in the first match. Uh, Hypnosis hit the second time as well. Um, so he's just going to switch out. He can't really do much to my Slobo with his Golade. I got first time wake up was pretty lucky. And I got crit here with the Surf, which was quite bad as I think the Gengar would have lived. And it was a physical Gengar, which I actually quite liked. Um, if I went for the Psychic actually, which I should have done predicting the switch, and if I woke up, I uh, would have put him. I don't think the crit would have mattered, but because I went for Surf, it may have. So he goes to Glaceon now, he's just got a Signal Beam, Aka Mind once, and I'm thinking I should have take another Signal Beam and just slack off the damage. And I believe that I was healing basically 30 HP um, every time, I think. Um, so basically I would have been able to heal back up, but I didn't really have the time to um, calm mind more, and if I attack, that left me open for another Pokemon to attack me. So he just switches to Gardevoir now, I decided to switch out to Clefable, either for Shadow Ball or um, a status move like Toxic or will o -Wisp, which he may have done. So he goes for Psychic now, see how much it does, I Encore that, I'm deciding to Encore whatever move he decides to go for, and Encore I went to Psychic when it's not doing much to Clefable is quite good. So I thought he'd probably switch to something predicting the Slowbro switch, so he switched to something takes Slowbro, which is Helmed him does quite well, and I just go for a second to steal the damage and guard of our side to stay in, hoping for the special defense drops or just get whatever comes in. I don't think you'd have two ghost types either, so it would be quite useful. So he goes for swagger now. I wasn't really sure if I could hurt myself for that, um, because I could be able's ability, and basically, on the ability, as he says, doesn't take damage from recoil, so I thought it was an, I might actually hurt myself from confusion, but I wouldn't do damage, but I was actually wrong, and I do take damage. So he will switch there, he goes to his blast fight, so I go to slow bro, then we both switch back, so it's basically Houndoom and Clefable again. Um, so yeah, as well as seeing how much the Seismic Dust did, I'm thinking he's maybe quite a bulkier set with a bit more HP EVs. As I was thinking it'll be pretty close to a 2 hit kill where the 2, um, two Seismic Dusts would almost kill, um, but it looks like maybe 3 or 4 would take it out, and he's got leftovers. So he goes for Punishment now, which is quite a nice set really, um, I think Punishment works as it does more damage if I've got stat boost, so I think I've got plus two attack because of the swagger, and I hurt myself, so that was quite bad. I wasn't sure what move I was going for, if I was going to Encore, if I was going to Wish, or whatever. I obviously wasn't going to Protect until there. I only protected here just to get a bit more HP back with leftovers, and then I could switch out to Hirayama, which maybe I should have done in the first place. So he goes for the punishment, and he gets a crit here, and see how much that crit did, the normal punishment wouldn't have done anything really to Hirayama. So he goes for a of switch misses, and I was quite lucky that for me because I'm not a gut set, I'm a thick fat set. But if he did get the Wild Wisp buff, I don't think the first pan would have KO'd, and the only thing he had to fear was if the first pan paralysed. So I think with the burn, I wouldn't have KO'd. I think it's about 180 base power move with the super effectiveness and that, but yeah. So it's just to um, Clefable now, fearing the Psychic, which he does do, and I'm pretty sure I could love another one. I think I did actually Calvation, and that Psychic actually did 6 and 9 damage. So sure, even with Max damage, he just should be able to love it, but he gets a random crit. I think I was just going to wish and then protect and heal up and then seismic toss, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, this team was kind of randomly put together and I think it was a bit too stally. I always end up putting kind of stally teams together if it's just a random team. So I start to calm mine now. Um, I go get the second calm mine that appears while he switches out. The burn obviously doesn't affect me too much. Obviously it's taking damage away more than leftovers heals, but it doesn't affect my actual attacks. So he goes for signal beam here. I think I'll just go for the slack off because of the burn damage and just to see how much damage he's going to do. I didn't really want to set up like six calm mines, which I actually probably could have done. Um, because I was like, yay, six calm mines, that's going to take forever. So I decided just to set up for half that and go for the third one. Then I'm just going to slack off next turn to get my HP back and then just get rid of the Glaceon. But kind of at this point, I was actually getting bored of Slowbro. I was like, um, yeah, I get Slowbro stuff up here. I'm just, uh, it's kind of bothersome when you get some setup like this. It's like, it's annoying if you don't get a setup and you try ages just to set that one thing up, but then once you get a setup, it's like, oh, set up, um, 
this is really a good like it's good that I could actually do quite a lot of damage etc but yeah I'm kind of bored but yeah I get the surf here and I'm able to take the Glaceon down one hit um, I was actually getting Glaceon confused with Espeon Glaceon may have good special defense as well but I think Espeon has good special defense pretty good special defense I think it might have been able to have a surf I'm not sure what stats apart from special attack Glaceon is good in so here I'm just thinking uh, I'm just going to now offensive now let him KO me but he goes for the focus punch I'm not sure whether he's sashed or not because it was a lead and he actually loves the surf even with plus 3 special attack so that's quite good, and he goes for the Destiny Bond now, I could have sl well, he goes for the Destiny Bond now, I could have slacked off, um, but I really couldn't be that bothered slacking off and that, and just stalling more and more, so it would take a while to get guard of our Amblast, or he's down with the slow bro, even if I get more calm minds, just so that he has access to Wish. So thinking he'd think I would switch to Flygon, um, so he went to Blastoise, so I went to um, Sceptile, so we wouldn't go to Gardevoir at first, because I would have to switch out from the Gardevoir, but I get at least Storm off, and that is quite a decent amount. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get the second one to KO, um, because the special attack drops, so I switched to Amastar now just to see what he's going to do, I was thinking if they are um, status me or wish, which he does do. He goes for status now, which really doesn't matter too much. I go for toxic spikes now, as um, I will help against Blastoise to wear it down, and really, he's not going to be able to go. If it does have rapid spin, he's not going to switch in to get poisoned, then to rapid spin the stuff away anyway, so. It's quite good just to get the map. I could have went for spikes as well. Um, but I think Tokyo spikes are probably more useful. I could have attacked with Surf for that, but I wouldn't have really done that much damage to be honest. But um, I guess getting one Surf damage off would have been quite useful, as it would have allowed Flygon to definitely KO this Earthquake. I could have went for U-turn, but Earthquake is actually more powerful. I think U-turn would be about 120 base power, but. Um, earthquake because of stab it's 150 so it's going to be doing more to this card of art. He goes for the burn, I was kind of predicting that but I was like, I'm not really going to be bored the time I get the earthquake damage off because I'm still going to kill you and then last size won't be much problem because it's poisoned unless it has rest which could have been quite bothersome but I don't, I can't remember, I'm not sure what set can you say, but I think he just surfed the nice beam so I didn't really see if he's only saying like yawn, rapid spin um, hidden power or electric maybe um, I doubt I don't have anything he would want to use hidden power electric on but he may have that I'm not sure so yeah he spams and takes me out I'll just earthquake to get some damage off uh, may as well get as much damage as possible really um, I could have went to um, Sceptile here but I was fearing Leaf Storm would mass and Energy Belt Ball wouldn't KO but even if I switched in Energy Ball I'm pretty sure um, Hey Yama would have been new get rid of it anyway so it might have been actually quicker doing it that way instead of just here yama earthquake and getting damage and just so you know i'm thinking earthquake is actually more power than the first palm i think first palm i might be wrong here first palm i think 60 base power with the stab that will make it 90 earthquake's 100 so that'd be better and uh, it's poisoned uh, it's not like i'm going to paralyze them or anything and um, yeah the emulator kind of crashed a bit there so I was trying to fix it there, so it's just a little random freeze there towards the end here. Um, probably not very exciting to look at, but yeah. Earthquake's wearing him down, Surf's wearing me down as well. And yeah, I guess if he did get the burn off here, it would have been quite useful as I would be doing less, and he probably would have been able to kill me quicker. I'm not too sure if he would have, but he might have. And yeah, this kind of lag here is bothersome. So yeah, um... Come on, video, move, go faster, etc, etc. Um, the Blastoise lives a flow amount of HP, but it doesn't matter now, so I can just get Sceptile in now, Energy Ball, and take it out for sure. Um, I might have actually, um, this is a choice to make sense, so I think Energy Ball might have been able to take it out earlier, but I don't know. So yeah, good game there, like Square Stick It. Um, remember to check out his channel, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.